哥，你能 unmute 自己吗 ？There we go. There we go. 啊，我把别人呃先 mute 掉啊，稍微等一下。Good， 很好。好 ，Can you hear me？ 可以听到。OK <笑>。Good morning, everyone。早上好。<笑> This morning, I'm gonna bring a a a relatively simple message。今天早上要给大家讲一个比较简单的信息。And it's comparing。The the value in the kingdom of heaven to the values we have in this world. This message is to compare the value of the kingdom of heaven to the values we have in this world. This message is to compare the value of the kingdom of heaven to the values we have in this world. This message is to compare the value of the kingdom of heaven to the values we have in this world. This message is to compare the value of the kingdom of heaven to the values we have in this world. This message is to compare the value of the kingdom of heaven to the values we have in this world. This message is to compare the value of the kingdom of heaven to the values we have in this world. This message is to compare the value of the kingdom of heaven to the values we have in this world. This message is to compare the value of the kingdom of heaven to the values we have in this world. This message is to compare the value of the kingdom of heaven to the values we have in this world. This message is to compare the value of the kingdom of heaven to the values we have in this world. This message is to compare the value of the kingdom of heaven to the values we have in this world. This message is to 认可的这样的问题，这个问题就是，你是不是有觉得好像没有用 ？Have you ever felt not wanted？ 你会不会觉得别人看不上你 ？Have you ever felt that no matter what you do, no matter how hard you try, it's just never enough？ 你会不会觉得不管你怎么努力、怎么样的辛苦的工作，从来都不够？ Many of us, we we judge ourselves and we judge others according to the way we look, you know, our appearance, our strengths, and our abilities. Now, we we judge ourselves, we also we also the same we judge others. Is what? 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 可能我们本意并不想这样做，只是这个世上就是这样做的，我们也跟着做。We are always comparing ourselves to other people， 所以我们总是把我们自己跟别人比。Uh -oh. Now I want to take us back in the Bible to the book of Daniel， 所以我们今天要先看看。呃，圣经里边的一本书叫做《但以理书》。And and this passage in Daniel one kind of sets the tone for the way the world works。那这本书里边好像就是有这样的一个一个一个背景，这个就是这个背景就让我们看到这个世上是怎么看人的价值的。Now the story is it happens actually in 597 BC。那这个故事实际上是在呃祖前呃五百多年前的故事。<笑> and and it centers around this place called Babylon and King Nebuchadnezzar。那这个故事是围绕这个当时那个时代的那个巴比伦王，当巴比伦国，那当时的国王叫尼布撒撒拉旦。Now Nebuchadnezzar is building a world empire and At this time, he actually raids Jerusalem, destroys Jerusalem, and kills most of the people in Jerusalem. Now, 那个时候的那个巴比伦王，这个王是非常的力量非常的凶猛，他他几乎统统领整个世界。那个时之前，他也把耶路撒冷城毁了，杀掉了大部分那里的人。Now, because Nebuchadnezzar considers himself To be the most important man in the world, he actually sets the standard for what what human value is. Now, this person not only is such a strong man, he also thinks of himself as the most valuable man in the world. At the same time, he also sets a standard for human value. He 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 gives orders here in this passage we're going to read. He gives orders uh, for the qualifications. For him,、uh, for servants, he wants servants to serve him, but he doesn't want anybody. And we're going to read that. 
那我们接下来要要读的这一段是经文是什么意思呢？就是讲这个国王，他要招一些仆人来服侍他的人，他就设一个标准，怎样的人才能来服侍他。So I'm reading in Daniel chapter one, verse three and four. 所以他要读这个但以理书的第一章的第三节到第四节。So keep in mind, this is after Jerusalem is destroyed. They killed most of the people. But in that process, they save some, and here's what it says. So in this process, 中大家提醒大家知道这个这个背景还是在再提醒一下，就是当时这个这个王已经把耶路撒冷城几乎都毁了，大部分人也都被被杀了，但他还是留下一些他认为有用的人。Okay, here's Daniel one three and four. It says, then the king ordered Ashpenaz, chief of the court officials, to bring into the king's service some of the Israelites. From the royal family and the nobility, young men without any physical defect, handsome, showing aptitude for every kind of learning, well informed, quick to understand, and qualified to serve in the king's palace. So this passage is saying that the king ordered the high officials, Yahshapinah, from the Israelite nobility. 呃，宗室和贵族当中带进几个人来，这些人没有残疾，相貌也俊美，通达各种学问，知识聪明，具备，才能够侍立在王宫里边。So imagine this. So Nebuchadnezzar must have been thinking in his mind. He says, "I'm the king. I'm the best. I want the best. And what is the best?" Well, only beautiful, flawless young men are worthy to be with me. So you can imagine, this king's mindset is that he thinks he is the best of the best. So he thinks the best of the best are the best. So he thinks the best of the best are the best. So he thinks the best of the best are the best. So he thinks the best of the best are the best. So he thinks the best of the best are the best. Only the smartest, most educated men are worthy to serve me. 只有那些又聪明、呃，知书达理的人才能来伺候我。Only the richest and most powerful men are worthy to serve me. 只有那些又有权势又有又富有的人才配来伺候我。Nebuchadnezzar summed up the value of man. 所以这个王也就是总结了一个人的一个的评价。You have to be beautiful, intelligent, rich, and powerful to have value. So, under his standard, a person has value. First, he has to be handsome, handsome, and wealthy. The more of these qualities you have, the more value your life has. So, under this standard, if you have the right standard, the more you get, the more you have. That means you. Now, unfortunately, logically speaking, that means that the less of these qualities you have, the less value is put on your life. But 对大部分的人不幸的是，如果按照这个标准的话，就意味着你这方面的这方面的要求你达不到的话，那说明你的价值就更少了，没有了。Now you can. Prove this even in your own life, because we, as a people, because we're human, we admire the beautiful, we admire the strong, we admire the talented, and oftentimes we don't admire those that are less attractive or weaker or even ignorant. You, you, think, think, our own life, 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 长相又俊美，呃，体能好，呃，非常聪明的人。那相反的，那些比较软弱的人，呃，可能长相上有有瑕疵的人，他们就不被我们看好。And just think of, think of athletes or movie stars or billionaires that you may admire. 你想想、uh, ，and they and you don't admire them because they have a heart for God. You admire them because They have what the world says is valuable. You think about what we admire, 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 what we
。那我们追从这些人，不是因为他们怎么样的好，而是因为，其实我们这个世人就认为他们符合那些标准。So the book of James in the Bible has some really good advice for any of us, for any Christians who want to be more like Christ in their daily lives. 那雅圣经里面雅各书又设了一个新的标准，用这个标准呢，就是我们。要能够更像耶稣的话，这个标准应该是什么 ？So I'm going to be reading from James chapter two, verse one through nine. 对他要读雅各书的第二章的一到九节。Okay, James is talking to the Christians there, and he says, "My my brothers and sisters, practice your faith in our glorious Lord Jesus Christ by not favoring one." Person over another. For example, two men come to your worship service. One man is wearing uh, uh, gold rings and fine clothes, and uh, uh, another man who is poor is wearing shabby clothes. Suppose you give special attention to the man wearing fine clothes and say to him, "Oh, please have a seat." But you say to the poor man, "Ah, stand over there or sit down at the floor at my feet." Aren't you discriminating against people by using, get this, by using a corrupt standard to make judgments? You are doing right if you obey the, this law from the highest authority. Love your neighbor as yourself. If you favor one person over another, you're sinning, and this law convicts you of being disobedient. 所以在这里，雅各书里边记载说：“他说，我的我的弟兄啊，你们如果信奉我们的荣耀的主耶稣基督，你就不应该偏心的待人。假定有这样两个人，一个人戴着金戒指，穿着华美的衣服到了你们的会堂里去，又有另外一个是穷人，穿着肮脏的衣服，你就看中那个穿华美衣服的人，跟他说：哦，请坐到这边的位置上。”然后对那个穷人说：“你站到那里去，或者坐在我的脚下。你这不是偏心待人吗？用一个用一个恶意来判断人。”然后继继续说：“经上记着说，要爱人如己。你们如果遵守这至尊的律法，那才是好的。但是你们如果按外貌去待人，就是犯罪，就是违反了这个律法。” Okay. Yeah, that that corrupt standard that we use is the same one that Nebuchadnezzar believed was right. So we use these the 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 But God has called us to be different from the world. So we all know this world's standard. We also use the world's standard. But God has called us to be different from the world. When we give our lives to Jesus, we are instilled with a new standard to see those people in the world a different way. If we put Jesus as our Lord of our lives, 那耶稣就给我们一个新的标准，我们要用这个新的标准来看我们世上的人。Paul tells us in Romans 12 too. I know a very familiar verse. It says, "Do not conform to the pattern of this world." What is that pattern? What we've been talking about: how we view others, how we compare ourselves to others. Sorry, Joe. 呃，在保罗，保罗在罗马书有这样一个很出名、大家都很熟悉的一个一个。一个金句，他说：“不要效法这个世界，只要心意更新而变化。”那那这个神的标准是什么呢？就是 ，OK， 你讲啊。Paul also says in Second Corinthians chapter five, verse sixteen and seventeen. We always quote five seventeen about new life, but sixteen talks about what we're we're looking at now. So it's Second Corinthians chapter five. Verse sixteen and seventeen, and it says, "Paul speaking." So from now on, now that we are in Christ, 
from now on, we regard no one from a worldly point of view. Though once we regarded Christ in this way, we do not so no longer. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come and the old has gone. The new is here. 保罗也在哥林多后书也提到甚至来看我们的耶稣基督。但是今天我们在不这样去看他了。所以十七节继续说：若有人在基督里，他就是新造的人，旧事已过，都变成新的了。Paul says that once the believers in his day, at one point, they actually looked at Jesus, they actually evaluated him like the world evaluates everybody. So they looked at him. And for most of those people, they said, eh, there's not really much to admire. 所以保罗这里实际上是在说, 在他那个时代, 在耶稣那个时代, 很多人, 包括这些门徒, 也用世上的眼光, 世上的标准来看耶稣自己。那很多人这样, Jesus, the Son of God, who came to earth was a man that didn't fit into the standards of this world. Consequently, he wasn't valued by most. He wasn't of noble birth, he was poor. 那他的出生也不是那么高贵,实际上他出生很平静。He wasn't really handsome by all accounts. 所以按大部分的标准来看的话,他长得也不那么的俊美。And even though he had infinite wisdom, his infinite knowledge, uh, he was more often than not misunderstood. 那他当然,耶稣当然有无穷的智慧,他也懂得的, 懂得很多, 但是他的所有这些都被很多人误解, Isaiah 53, 2 and 3 summarize this whole concept of Jesus not really fitting in to the world. And in Isaiah 53, 2 and 3 it says, He grew up before him like a tender shoot, and like a root out of dry ground. He had no beauty or majesty to attract us to him. Nothing in his appearance that would uh, that we should desire him. He was despised and rejected by mankind, a man of suffering and familiar with pain. Like one from whom people hide their faces, he was despised and we held him in low esteem. 所以以赛亚书也描述过不会因为他的容貌我们就会羡慕他。他被人藐视,被所有的人厌弃,他受了很多的痛苦,长经忧患。他被藐视好像被人淹面不看一样,我们从来也不尊重他。Again, Jesus didn't have anything in his appearance that we would highly value. He, he wasn't physically attractive, he wasn't stronger than others, uh, he didn't have money, and he wasn't formally educated. Jesus, 
呃，也没有正式的上过学校。Now back in the verse in 2 Corinthians 5:16, where Paul says, where Paul says that that they once viewed Christ from a world worldly perspective. I think he was saying that they looked at him and they did not esteem him. They they held him in low esteem. 就像刚才保罗在那个哥林多后书那边提到的一样，在在耶稣还在世上的时候，很多人看到他。不觉得他怎么样？很多人把他按照世上的标准来看的话，并不看重他，并不尊重他。嗯哼。When we come to know Jesus personally, we can see the way God sees people. 所以，我们如果跟耶稣接近了，真正的、真正跟他建立关系来再来看耶稣的时候。When Paul's talking about, behold, the the new has come. The old is gone. The new has come. This is part of it. This new this new life inside that we can see differently than the world. We see things the way God sees them. So Paul says, "New creations have passed away. The old has passed away. We have become new. 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 We have become new." A story in the Old Testament about King David. Actually, this is a the prophet Samuel was looking, or God had sent him to look for the next king of Israel. This is the second king of Israel. You want to translate? Yeah, in the Old Testament, about David, uh, David, when he was king, uh, maybe it's related to another one. We all know, is Samuel, uh, the prophet. Samuel, the prophet, was sent to look for the second king. Now God wanted to teach Samuel a lesson, so Samuel's looking. God sent him to the, you know, uh, Jesse's house. Uh, that's David's father's house, and he was looking at the brothers, and he saw one of the brothers, and he thought for sure this was the next king of Israel. So he was in this, uh, in his looking for the second king. This process, obviously, Yahweh was trying to teach Samuel, uh, give him a new perspective. 新的看见，因为在这个寻找的过程中，呃，沙漠那个大家记得的故事的话，就跑到呃大卫他的父亲的家里边去，呃，他看了几个兄弟，看了哎，他说这个人肯定是我们要选定的王。So in First Samuel chapter sixteen, verse seven. Wonder say it, Joe. 呃，在这个记者在记载在呃沙漠记上呃第十六章。Yeah. Okay. It says, "But the Lord said to Samuel, 'Don't look at how handsome Eliab is. Don't look at how tall he is. I have not chosen him. God does not see the same way people see. People look at the outside of a person, but the Lord looks at the heart." 所以这个耶和华的话记载在呃《撒母耳记上》十六章的第七节。撒呃耶耶和华对撒母耳讲：“你不要看他的外貌，也不要看他长得多高大，我并没有看中他，因为我看人不看，不是看他的外貌，耶和华是看人的内心。” I can't stress this enough, but in Christ we have the ability to see as God sees. 所以我不知道怎么再强调这个意思，就是在我们如果通过耶和华，呃，通过耶稣的眼光来看呢，我们就能看到神要我们怎么样看。And when we can see people the way God sees them, we see the value that God puts on their life. 如果我们用神的眼光来看人的话，我们就能看到神把人看得多么的重，称把他看作在神的眼光里面多么的贵重。Now the the last point I'm going to make I I know we've made what what the world you know considers valuable in human life, what God considers human value, and now we're going to see how are we created for this position. 那最后我们也来讲到呃，就是在我们讲到神
怎么样看我们人那么的宝贵，呃，那我们在这过程中，我们就就是我们再来回顾神是为什么造我们的。对 ，We often either don't realize or forget that our role here on earth is only as vessels for the Lord. 我们经常可能会忘记，可能有的时候想不起来了。那我们被造在这个世上，实际上是作为神的一个器皿。The, the the problem is that most of us are, are used to the world standards, and we are definitely more attracted to the wrapping, to the package, than we are actually attracted to the contents of the package. Now, we we human, because we live in this world, very unfortunately, we just imagine a package. We are attracted to the package of the package, and we forget to look at the package that is inside. We forget to look at the package that is inside. This goes back to the whole、uh, what we put value on. We put value on、uh, things on the outside, not the heart. So, 最终也反映了我们把我们把一个人的判断、一个人的价值，我们放在哪里呢？是往往放在他的外面，而不是放在他的心里面。Now, I realize most of you weren't here in the 1960s and 70s, so you probably do not know this game show. <laughs> 所以我，我我我猜想，大部分这里的人在六十年代、七十年代还不在这里，所以可能不记得当时有一个很很出名的一个电视剧。So maybe maybe the most popular game show of the s i s and s e s was called Let's Make a Deal <笑>。所以六十年代、七十年代大概当时最最出名的一个一个一个电视上的节目，就是我们一起来做个买卖。So people, you, you you can get lawyers, doctors, plumbers, housewives, anybody would come to the audience, and they would hope to have something, a, a business card, a, a, even a hard-boiled egg, and they hope to be able to trade it for a Cadillac. So this this TV show is a competition show. It 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 is a competition show. 大家的意思，那个那个比赛的意思是什么呢？就你你带你家里带来能带来的东西，你就想希望说我们可以换取一个特别好的奖金，特别好的奖励。你甚至说家庭主妇把一个煮熟的鸡蛋带过来，就盼望着说鸡蛋弄不好可以换到一个卡迪拉克的车。<笑> The prizes, however, you 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 take you take he he say, hey, do you have a do you have a, a business card on you? And a person in the audience would pull one out. He says, "Well, I'll tell you what. I'll give you what's behind the curtain for your card." So he, this, 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 this competition is just this kind of meaning. Just all kinds of people come to the table, and then the host says, "Hey, who has a card? If there is a good card, I will give you the card behind the curtain for your card." And then the host says, "Hey, who has a card? If there is a good card, I will give you the card." And then the host Monty Hall would say, "Well, I'll give you because the person's always saying, 'I'll take the curtain. I don't want my business card.'" <laughs> and then he said, "I'll give you a thousand dollars, and I'll buy back the curtain." So, maybe, 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 The whole point is you don't know what's behind because the curtain was the biggest prize. You think you're getting a good prize. So here, 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 the trick is that because you don't know, is for the audience, you don't know what's behind the curtain. That one thousand dollars, I will give my business card to him. Is it worth it? 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 Behind the the curtain, <laughs> you don't know if you're getting a car, a camel, or just a terrible gift. Okay. So, uh, Scott, I remember, 当时看过，有的时候他记特别印象深的是那个布帘子后面有一次是藏着一个小的小骆驼。意思就是说，你对观众来说完全不知道那个那个布帘子后面是藏着一个有用的东西呢，还是完全没用的东西。So sometimes they bring out a garbage can, 
and you will probably didn't want it, but you didn't know if there was garbage in it or a mint coat. <laughs> 有的时候不是布帘子，有的时候是能拿出一个一个垃圾袋。所以问题就是，这个垃圾袋里面是真的是垃圾呢？里面还是说里面有特别什么好宝贝东西在里头 ？And sometimes the people would forget、uh, what was important, what was inside or behind the packaging was way more important to them than the packaging. 所以这个这个。这个电视节目就是特别来强调我们人，我们人往往会忘记了，我们是看这个布帘子啊，这个垃圾袋啊，这个外面的标包装呢，还是我们要想知道里边是到底藏着什么东西，什么宝贝。The same is true for those who believe in Jesus。那这个道理也是一样的，也反映在我们怎么样，我们信耶稣的人，我们怎么来看这些事情。We are designed。To be the package. 那上帝造我们，造我们就是要做，把我们造成这样一个整个的一个一个包装物。And hear me, the packaging is not as important as its contents. 那既然我们作为一个这样一个包装物，或者一个或者我们可以叫做一个包裹，这整个一个包装物的话，我们就要想到我们外面的这个包装纸。跟我们内心的内内涵是不能画等号的。So some of us were planning a trip to Israel this year. 我们原来我们有些人想计划要到以色列去今年。But unfortunately, it didn't happen. 当然很遗憾，我们我们最后没有成行。But maybe in the future, we'll get to go. 那当然，总有一天我们还是可以成行的。And when that time comes. We will be able to go pretty much anywhere in Israel and find pieces of broken pottery. 那很有意思的，我们想哪一天你成型的，可以告诉你一件事：你到了以色列任何的地方，你都能找到一个破的陶瓷罐的那样的碎片。We can find it from any era of civilization there. 甚至说，你可以找到那个碎片，可以可能是这个。这个这个以色列古文明的任何一个朝代的瓷片。Now pottery was used for many purposes. 当然，我们知道一个陶瓷罐当然是可以用来做各种各样的呃用用处。But hear this. But it was rarely, not often. It was rarely valued for its own sake. 但是要想到大家可能可能会忘记了，这个陶瓷罐是来装东西的。那很可能在一个特殊的情况下，但大部分大部分的情况下，这个陶瓷罐本身没有太多的价值。People usually、uh, use the pottery to to hold things or carry things. 因为陶瓷罐，你知道，就是拿来装装东西的，用来藏东西的。So when they wore out and they they broke, they just let it go. They didn't care. 因为它只是来装更好的东西，也就是说，这个陶瓷罐本身哪天用用坏了、用旧了、摔破了，那就让它摔破了。Remember, the vessel holds things, and packages aren't as port aren't as important as its contents. 所以再强调这个这个用这个例子再继续强调给大家知道，就是我们既然作为一个器皿，任何的器皿。这个器皿本身外面的形象、外面的包装，永远不跟里面的内涵是没有像内里面的东西那么重要的。那 we should never judge anyone based on their outside appearance, on their education or their culture。也就意味着说，我们如果看人的话，我们绝对不能又把这个人的外表，他去过什么学校，用这个来。来看它里边的，呃，本质内涵。We are all designed, all everyone, not just Christians, but all people are designed to house something more precious than gold. 我们基督徒不单单基督徒，我们所有的人被神造，被神造都是要来承载一个比外面我们看到的这样一个人更重要、更宝贵的一个东西。We need to be able to look past the outside appearance 
and see what is inside a person. So we are doing this. Now, when we use the world standard to evaluate ourselves, remember we're always comparing ourselves to other people. When we use that standard, we often find ourselves falling short. Yeah, some of us complain that we are tall enough or strong enough or smart enough or good looking enough or athletic enough or rich enough or talented enough to be valued by other people. why we were in the family we are and you know all the things that we don't really control okay and here we go romans 9 20 and 21 says but who are you a human being to talk back to god shall what is formed say to the one who formed it why'd you make me like this does not the potter have the right to make out of the same lump of clay some pottery for special purposes and some for common use? So you know this kind of thinking. If you look at the world standard, you look at the size, you look at the height, you look at the wealth, you look at the fortune, you look at the wealth, you always think, "What things I don't have, I don't have enough." You just blame yourself. Why should I be like someone else? So here, Romans in Paul has this kind of quote. 关于你为什么长成你现在这个样子，罗马书第九章二十节、二十一节这里说：“你是谁？你只是个人，竟敢跟，竟敢跟神来犟嘴呢？受造的之物，怎么能造对造他的人说，你为什么造我成这个样子呢？那窑匠难道没有权，没有权柄从一堆泥里边拿出一块来做成一个？”他认为贵重的器皿，难道他就没有权再拿出一块来做成一个卑贱的器皿吗 ？Now, I want to take another look back at that passage in Daniel chapter one, where Nebuchadnezzar commanded, "Yeah, I only want the best to be before me to serve me." 所以，再回到我们最初一开始今天提到的那个《但以理书》，那个国王，他的那个心态，他一定要找最完美的人。Now, one of those men who fit all those qualifications, who went to serve Nebuchadnezzar in Babylon, was named Daniel. 哎，在那个时候还真让他找到了这样一个人，他符合了这个王的所有的标准，来伺候这个王。那这个人叫但以理。Now we could look at Daniel and say, "Wow." If I was young and handsome, flawless, smart, highly educated, rich and powerful, I'd serve God too if He made me like that. So you can have this kind of mentality. You look at Dan Yili, young, handsome, beautiful, and has wealth, and has a family background, and is very good. You may think, oh, God, if you make me like that, if you make me like that, then I will serve you too. You can say, why doesn't God make all of us like that? So you further ask, if God can make a Daniel, then why can't He make a Daniel like that? 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 Why can't He make a Da
He is not functioning on the world standard of what is good and what is bad. He doesn't place value the way the world does. Daniel was made that way because God had a purpose for his life. Now I just picture like Paul was saying, he takes this, this lump of clay and he's putting it on it and he's just making this perfect, or what we would consider this perfect man. But God did not do that so that Daniel could be admired by the world. God did that so Daniel could fulfill God's will. God had a mission for Daniel, and it required that he be all those things to serve Nebuchadnezzar. He molds all of us the way he wants us. He puts all of us, uh, he makes us all, puts us all on that potter's wheel. Some of us are, we have different purposes, different functions, but he is behind it all. Now, here's a, uh, something I've drawn from this. If we spend more time in God's word and in prayer, then in pursuing the things that the world says is valuable. Now, I'm not saying any of these things that the world says is valuable is bad. It's not bad. But when we make that a priority, we, we rob ourselves of seeing God or seeing things the way God sees them. Sorry, Joe. <laughs> That's all right. Uh, 所以再, 再强调一下, 我们, 如果我们追求世上, 世人认为这个标准去做事情, 追求世上的事情, 所有的被人认为好的东西，你去追求的话，相对于你花更多的时间，把这个主次放在主要的你的精力放在呃追求神的旨意里边，呃跟神亲近里边，那这个结果会不一样。The way the world gives value to each each of us is by comparing us to someone else. 那这个结果就包含在说,你当然世上的标准的话,你总是要跟人比,因为这个世上做事的做法,就是要跟人比。The way God gives us value is not by comparing us. 但是神看人,神看重我们,他完全是不是跟人比的,跟别人比的。There is an intrinsic value that God places within us that gives us value apart from what anybody else is like. It doesn't matter what you look like or what problems you face or the number of shortcomings you live with. God has created you for a purpose. Now, 
God has designed each of us to house, to hold His Spirit. And he can accomplish anything he wants to in and through our lives when we invite him in. No one in God's kingdom, absolutely no one, should ever feel worthless or unwanted. I'm going to read 1 Corinthians 3, 16 through 23. In conclusion, Paul is writing this. And again, keep in mind the difference between the way the world views things and the way God does. It says, do you not know that you yourselves are God's temple and that God's spirit dwells in your midst. If anyone destroys God's temple, God will destroy that person. God has value on every life. For God's temple is sacred, and you together are that temple. Now do not deceive yourselves. If anyone thinks, if any of you think you are wise by the standards of this age, you should become fools, so that you may become wise. For the wisdom of this world is foolishness, in God's sight. As it is written, he catches the wise in their craftiness. And again, the Lord knows the thoughts of the wise are futile. So you can also remember the 是要把他把他自己的目的把他的对你的珍惜都放在你的心里面因为神的殿是神圣的主知道智慧的人的意念是虚妄的 Okay, so just a quick review before I stop here. We must remember that we're all designed to be vessels. We're all that pottery for the Lord's use. 所以我们来总结一下, 首先大家一定要记得, 永远不要忘记, 我们只是神造的一个器皿, now, instead of looking at other people and comparing ourselves to them, uh, looking at their appearances, their riches, their achievements, and, and we say, oh, that person, I admire that person, eh, not so much that person. We need to know God's heart to really know the worth, their worth in God's eyes. So, if we know that we are the one who is the one who is 互相比来比去, 因为我们比我们的外形的词惯的外表, 呃, and this last point is, let's spend more time making room for the Holy Spirit in our lives. 那最后一点, 我们要特别强调就是, 我们要让, 我们的词惯,我们这样一个器皿是来装神的灵,所以我们要花更多的时间让我们的灵,让圣灵能够进驻到我们心里边去。The more we understand who we really are, 
for, for the Lord, the more he can use us to bring light to a people that are using these standards that leave them feeling unworthy. So, we do this, we let the Lord fill our hearts, really fill our hearts, Amen. Amen.